it's very, very rare to have an albino stosin. Rare indeed. In fact, so in demand is the caviar produced by albino sturgeons that it can sell for up to $100,000 a kilo, 10 times the price of black caviar. These sturgeon are being farmed on a lake created by a hydroelectric dam in central Vietnam. When Lian Duc started his ambitious project, he was told the waters here were too warm, but he proved his Russian scientific advisors wrong and his fish are thriving. And I believe that it's I can keep the very good quality and have a good affordable price and good supply chain. The caviar can be very popular, not only to the elite uh, social, but to other people also. Global caviar production collapsed in the 1980s. Pollution and overfishing in the Caspian Sea saw sturgeon nearly wiped out. 3,000 tonnes used to be produced every year. Now only around 250 tonnes make it to the market, nearly all of that from farms, as fishing in the Caspian Sea is now banned. Demand is so high, Duke has already started exporting to traditional caviar powerhouses. We are exporting back to Russia the meat and the caviar from Sturgeon. And we believe that this will be a very good market for us uh, because uh, Russia has a culture of uh, consuming this product. Duke and his team do regular experiments on water temperature, salinity and oxygen levels to try to improve his caviar and he refuses to use any preservative. He currently produces five tonnes a year, but such as demand from high-end restaurants in the country, he could sell much more. Of course, the eggs is smaller than uh, caviar we can find in Russia or, or Iran, but in terms of quality, test is very close on, on, uh, on a real good quality or not. Exporting caviar to the Russians might be like selling sand to the Saudis or ice to the Inuit, but somehow Duke has managed it. Now he plans to triple production by 2017, and then he really will be able to call himself Vietnam's caviar king.